you did the journey of education. You're in the corporate world. You're working. It's, it's steady. It's, you're not having to do red eye, uh, do California, where you don't know whether if you read, when you read the line, whether they'll say yes or no. You do your job. You get, your, get well paid. Yet you decide to walk away from it. How did you find the courage to walk away from a stable uh, career into acting? And how much did your faith influence that decision? The faith. Um, I've always wanted to be an actor ever since I was young. From, you know, I know, I know a lot of people say that, but that's what I always wanted to be. When I went to boarding school, I joined all the creative arts. I did all the training, ballet, everything. And then I honestly thought I was going to be an actor. And then, you know, my parents were very um, open-minded in that and, and formal. Like my father and mother would say, you know, sit down with us and, and have a presentation set, what your ideas are for the world and blah, 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 and where you're going to move. And, and so I did. I had my presentation set and I sat down in front of my parents. I said, mommy, daddy, I've already told you these are all the subjects I love, blah, blah, blah. I want to be an actor. And they literally looked at each other and said, is that what we took you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Are you smoking? I mean, hey, <laughs> Salah, Mao, Mao, hey, actor, you know, I knew that. that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she had dressed, though. I'm telling you, they just like literally laughed in my face. Oh, wow. And I was so heartbroken. Mm-hmm. I honestly thought that they knew that that, they knew, they knew that that's all I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And they said, no, we are, we're making sure that you, you find a profession that will protect you, that will give you, you know, you will flourish. We have four girls. We want to make sure everybody can stand alone um, when we're gone, et cetera, et cetera. And I got it. I got it. They were doing it out of love. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I did my master's and uh, I finished and I did all that, and then my dad died first, who was my um, rock, my, my compass, my true love. I, I, we talk about dad, daddy's girls, and I, I was one. Um, along with all my sisters, uh, that threw me for a loop. And then my mom was diagnosed immediately after and died. And I just thought, all right, God, I've done everything I was meant to do. I've done the uh, degrees. I've done the marriage. I've had the children. I want just my thing now. And I remember very clearly when I was um, at the movies, um, when my mother was, we knew she was passing on. And um, we all decided to go and go to the movie theater at midnight in Atlanta to cheer ourselves up. And what did we watch? We watched Doubt. Oh. I don't know if the, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not a cheer up movie, okay? No. Um, no, is it? First and foremost. So we're sitting there in the theater and I look up and I see Viola Davis. And this is long before she became the star that she was. So hold on, hold on, hold on. This is long before, this is miles before how to get away with murder, where yes. you work with yes. Viola Davis. I saw her on the screen and I heard a whisper saying, it's your time. Wow. I literally heard it. When I saw her on the screen, I said, oh Lord, she's dark like me. She, she's doing great. I'm spellbound. She was on screen all but 13 minutes and that just shook me. And I just heard that whisper and says, it's time. It's let, let me it's okay. let, let me ask. So, sorry to interrupt. For someone who has a dream, um, like you did, it may not be acting. It may be a, a whole different line. Uh, but they 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 so they feel like I'm so far gone on this trail uh, to start this. Uh, I'll be starting afresh. Uh, how how old were you, or how far were you in terms of? Uh, I mean, for they say actors, you, you should start early. Uh, how old were you? Uh, I was so, 40. I was 40. I was right. So, like, so in your 40, middle age. I was 40, 40 and I was... Um, scratch. Yes, start from scratch. Forget everything. I did not know what was to come. I knew there was a confirmation there that what I was wanting to do, I wanted to do it. So I remember talking to my mom and her dying bed, and I said, Mommy, I want to do this. Please, when you get up to heaven, please tell God. This is what I want to do, et cetera, et cetera. And then hearing that voice and, and, and just confirmed it to me, I did not know the journey ahead of me. I did not know that I would have to start from scratch. I would have to be so humble. That's why I said it's from first class to cargo, literally. Um, I blew through my savings. 
I was laughed at from my family, my sisters, my husband, everybody was just like, what? Have you gone mad? They first thought it was grief. But so they gave me some time to just grieve. And then it became a, a year, two years, three years. She's still at it. Four years. Uh, it got to a point where my marriage was um, in question, where I was given an ultimatum. Um, mm. and, and every time I would go back to my prayer closet and go on my knees and said, Lord, if this is not of you, remove it. Because it's creating so much stress in my life and my kids and my kids are coming up to me and telling me, mommy, you and daddy are fighting. Just stop this thing. Literally. I mean, I'm being completely honest about it. It was bad. And, and yet I would, whenever something would come like that, I would book a little roll. I'd be like, really God? Is that, that didn't really answer the question, but it was his way of like, my, just keep going. And it was just, it's always been like that. My journey, um, my journey with God has always been a faith journey, even now, even now after booking Black Panther um, and my for husband. Someone, for someone watching, um, mm -hmm. and I know that um, for you, I mean, watching, trying to prep for you and watching the interviews, I know that the, the Black, pa Black Panther moment was, was uh, uh, a moment that, that I, I suppose the, the circle was completed for you and your husband where you looked at each other and and say this this is it this was my dream he, he <laughs> cried we were crying we were crying at the premiere and even just getting to the premiere was a something because getting the role was something because i put it on my vision board my my god vision board and i said god i want something that will make me proud of me being a nigerian and make you know um be a blockbuster that everybody would see Africa in such a beautiful way that it is i did it all i said it all and so when black panther came out i was like I was like, oh my gosh, this is it, this is it, this is the one. And I auditioned for five roles, so for one after another. For someone who's still in the place that you were, where they've, they've stepped out and what they believe is faith, uh, their heart's desire, but they're in a place where they've been laughed at. What are some of the things, looking back, uh, if you were talking to yourself then, you would have said to you that you can say to them? Always take it back to God. Always take it back to him. If it's meant to be, he'll find a way for you. I know there's so many times that you feel that he's not answering your prayer. But like I said, every time I would go back to him on my knees and say, God, if this is not of you, then remove it. There will be a sign. Listen, be attuned to the signs.